innovate, accelerate, move technology forward. The startup revolution is now. Hi, my name is Carl Delval. I'm the CMO of Avacado Studios. And we help both corporate and education clients to successfully transition from traditional methodologies to modern technology-based learning. We solve problems creatively. Uh, those problems have been a result of the rapidly changing education environment, uh, as well as behavior changes of our learners. Uh, these are disengaged students, less information retained in lessons, and decreased learning opportunities, such as those that are uh, far away places and are offline. Okay. Uh, one thing you have to remember is, and, is that people remember and act on amazing experiences, but that these experiences don't come naturally. These are designed and engineered. What the, what the solution that we are proposing is a gamified education tech solutions, which engages, engages users, uh, helps them retain more information, and are available both online and offline. Our Abacada EdTech Solution stack actually is composed of many parts, but all of these have a gamification layer on top of them, which is the edge that we have in our uh, solutions. The business model that we work in are project-based revenue, SaaS subscription of our platform, and platform maintenance and support. Here are some of the companies that we have worked with. They are both in the corporate and education space. Some of the projects that we have completed are a game-based learning platform for World Wildlife Fund, uh, virtual team building for Globe, and also an activation campaign for Smart. It's a virtual uh, activation campaign, as well as gamified training system for one of our corporate clients. Now, for how big the market is, we have an opportunity of about 7,000 plus public schools, 1,200 plus private schools, and over 2,300 colleges and universities. And on top of that, we have about 957,620 establishments or corp uh, corporate entities and SMEs here in the Philippines that can also benefit from our other systems and platforms. For competition, as you can see, there are already uh, competitors out in the market in the space, but our biggest uh, competitor advantage is actually gamification. What we're looking for is to find additional funding so that we can scale up our talent acquisition and leverage on the opportunities that are still available in our pipeline. Our team is composed of Leigh Bautista, who is uh, very experienced in the education space, uh, Ariel Coserio, who is uh, our design officer. Our uh, CFO is Bern Almasan, and our CTO is Ryan Canlas. Uh, and I myself is a CMO. So we have a lot of experience in marketing and development and finance and uh, user experience, as well as most importantly in education. So we're looking for your support and hope, hope that you can help us out so that we can bring the solution to our customers much sooner and much more efficiently. Thank you. I can still remember when I was younger. I want this professional training and certification, but it doesn't allow me because it's too costly. And that's, I said, one day when given a chance, I'll try to address this pain point. And that's when I started Aslex PH Academy. Here at Aslex PH Academy, we make individuals and organizations hashtag significantly better through accessible and sustainable lifelong learning. Over time, we have figured out the pain points that a common lifelong learner, a Filipino lifelong learner has experienced. This includes two commercialized programs with high price, with little to no mentoring support for even premium programs, with low motivation in completing their courses, and there is no common ground for these lifelong learners and Filipino mentors to share the experience and expertise. At Aslex Page Academy, we have provided several solutions to address this. We provided free courses around the verticals of continuous improvement, innovation, analytics, and sustainability. We also have premium courses that are democratized up to 50% discounted rates. We have integrated adult learning principle, lifelong learning, and gamification in our solutions. Hence, we have launched our platform, Alpha Digital. Alpha Digital empowers lifelong learners and mentors to meet and to share the experience and expertise as one community.
this is the journey. Lifelong learner will just have to register for a course, take the course, pay for it, complete it, and eventually get an alpha coin. An alpha coin is a form of lifelong learning mechanism that would be used as a discount or a full payment for premium courses that the lifelong learner intends to take. And this is also the basis of facilitating the lifelong learning process. We use this to incentivize our mentors at the end of the year through what we call the Mentor Incentive Fund, which based on their performance or the performance of their course, they will be um, rewarded accordingly. And also, this is the basis for the users to be awarded on their performance as a lifelong learner in the community or in the platform. So far, we were able to reach these milestones and we are happy that we are continuously growing as an organization. And because of that, we are recognized both locally and internationally. And just recently, I was part of Gentil List for 2022 for championing lifelong learning here in the Philippines. And ASLEX Page Academy has been awarded as Asia CEO Awards for 2022 as SME Company of the Year. Looking forward, we are seeking for funding and expansion across the sea market and to reach 100,000 users by the end of next year and to build strategic partnerships with this capable and competent team. So let's continue to be hashtag significantly better through accessible and sustainable lifelong learning together. Hello everyone, I'm Justin from Cerebro and we are building a digital content library for teachers by teacher. Here is the story of teacher Anna, a grade school faculty member in a medium-sized private school handling eight classes with 50 students each. But these classes are not of the same subject since teachers in the elementary level are expected to teach students in several learning areas which could also be different from their field of specialization. Because of this, Anna needs to do an extensive research about the subjects assigned to her so she could prepare her instructional materials well while also allocating time for her other administrative duties such as computing grades, preparing reports, and the like. Based on existing data, a teacher spends around 400 hours of preparation time annually, and this is also a problem for school administrators who are seeing a great number of teachers who are quitting their jobs each year. Studies also note, that the heavy workload of teachers affects the quality of education, producing low scores in standardized exams. So we created Cerebro, a collection of ready-to-use lessons, curriculum-based quizzes, and printable worksheets that teachers can use to effectively reduce their workload and to standardize and improve the quality of teaching. Unlike other e-learning products that focus on the platform alone, we took it a step further by providing the ready-made teaching and learning materials which we have carefully designed to align the standard curriculum. Right now, we have covered 95% of the entire Philippine K-12 curriculum with over 4,000 digital contents which are already being used by our partner schools. We also aim to create contents based on the international curriculum, particularly on mathematics, reading, and language arts to achieve a global impact for teachers who have the same experience with Teacher Anna. There are nearly 94 million teachers in the world and among this number, 32 million are in countries where English is the primary medium of instruction who could benefit from solutions like that of Cerebro. With our current contents alone, we can already help up to 1.2 million teachers in the Philippines and we would like to share this innovation to those outside the country for a wider impact. To this date, we have more than 20 schools who have adopted Cerebro's content library, bringing in a total revenue of 310,000 US dollars for the past two years. 75% of our team is composed of licensed professional teachers, and their expertise is more on instructional design and not just on technology. We are aiming for a content licensing and franchising agreement with LMS providers so we can maximize and benefit from their market leadership while we also increase their competitive advantage by adding our contents on top of their existing platforms. But we cannot do this alone. 
they're currently raising 400,000 US dollars in seed funding through a safe note to support our milestones for the next 24 months. So support us in this initiative and let's make a global impact in education together. Thank you. Good day, everyone. I am Adele De Jesus, and I am the CEO of DCLA, Inc. We are elevating the education in the Philippines. First, let's focus on a problem we are trying to solve. Education needs multiple facets to succeed. Actually, parents requires portals, probably teaching tools for teachers, multiple systems for admins. And the biggest problem is because of all this, we just forget learning in education. So DCLA presents Pearl, or Perfect Learning. It's an educational ecosystem powered by three points. One is comprehensive assessments. We provide a social learning platform and a consolidated services and solutions for learning. The model that we are trying to create is the Pearl ecosystem chain. Currently, earning through multiple subscriptions in, for, from academic institutions per students is our biggest revenue model. But eventually, if we can create the entire Pearl ecosystem, we will be able to unlock all this. The market size is quite huge for education, but we are targeting it slowly and surely in terms of private schools in Bulacan, wherein we have already over 20 schools, over 50 administrators uh, locked in, over 200 educators, and over 20,000 students since 2015. We have also built a lot of brands in the Pearl ecosystem chain that we are saying. First is diverse, wherein we do out-of-school activities. We also offer school management subscription model. We have created a learning channel. And we do multiple system integrations, not just systems we created, but also existing systems. We also have different module series in values, computer, and TLE. We have introduce our own assessment pedagogies wherein we use it for schools. The brains of the revolution has a 17 years of combined experience in education, technology, and design. So I focus on learning, Justin focus on technology, and Vaughn focus on executions and the designs that we actually make sure to deliver for our schools. This is DCLA Philippines. Please refer a, part a partner school to us today. We want to change education one school at a time. Hi, I'm Henry Mokmanyoz, the founder of Education at PH the Philippines' largest and fastest growing edtech platform. So why do Kashan? Firstly, we operate in a large, fragmented, um, and broken $20 billion education market that is ripe for disruption. Edtech's takeoff for the Philippines close to 30 million English-speaking learners is being driven by digitalization. Education has spent the last seven years building market leadership along with solutions that are comprehensive, localized, and scalable across three verticals. Our experienced and passionate team is backed by many investors uh, who have Philippines and EdTech experience. So this is the Philippines education market. As you can see, it's incredibly large. It's the world's fifth largest uh, English-speaking um, education market by population. But it's also very fragmented. Uh, the largest education player has less than 2% market share. The system is broken in terms of education results academically where we rank at the bottom of PISA, and in terms of allowing education to employment progression for its graduates. We've built education to address those issues. For the younger age groups, it's with academic support for the K-12 system with our Edge Tutor program. For the slightly older students, it's with experience, uh, which is about um, teaching life skills. 
And then finally, it's Explore, which is a guidance platform to help students navigate senior high school and college. Our tutor product called Edge had a soft launch this year. We've taught more than 7,000 hours and trained over 1,000 um, tutors who are now available to teach our students. Uh, very high enjoyment rate, high referral rate, and uh, we're confident we can keep growing this division. Experience, which is the curated educational content, is designed to equip learners with future skills. And here we've worked with very blue chip names such as Unilever or Amazon or Ateneo and impacted more than half a million students a year. And finally, Explore, which is the Philippines' largest online resource and community for Filipino learners trying to navigate their options. The education ecosystem has been built around uh, multiple stakeholders um, and is allowing us to create network effects as we keep scaling up. Our team of more than 40 full-time employees, along with the many tutors I've mentioned, is experienced in both ed tech and consumer um, and digital uh, companies. We're backed by experienced advisors and many investors uh, that have deep ed tech or Philippines expertise. We're very excited about the opportunity um, that the Philippines represents as a market, and we look forward to keep uh, disrupting the education sector one digital solution at a time for our community of 8 million learners. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Pam and I'm here to talk about adventure. Filipino parents always want what's best for their children, especially when it comes to education. They want their children to learn both inside and out of the classroom. However, when it comes to helping their children out, parents struggle because they usually don't have the time, knowledge, and patience to help them learn outside of the classroom. This is because parents have other responsibilities at home and usually only have one hour of family time every single day to bond with their children. And this usually goes to tutoring them. The challenge is that teaching is also a unique skill. And unfortunately, some of them don't remember the lessons taught in school. As according to Mrs. Delamar said, bitin yung online school niya at di ko rin maalala yung mga math eh. That's a problem that Filipino parents usually encounter. This is why we created Adventure. Adventure is a high quality, one on one, personalized tutoring platform that's easily affordable and accessible to the average Filipino parent. Our goal is to provide quality learning to every learner by giving them access to the best teachers without the hassle. We cater to pre grade 10 students specifically. Booking an adventure is very, very easy. Number one, you just choose a subject. Two, you book a schedule. And then three, you attend the session. In the Philippines, the reason why we're tackling this is because it's a really huge opportunity here in the Philippines and abroad. In the Philippines, there's parents and 104 billion pesos for annual for tutoring services. In Southeast Asia, on the other hand, one trillion is spent on tutoring services as well. Here in the Philippines, there's a large student base and at the same time, education is seen as an investment. So there's high purchase frequency and high share of quality. There's also deep digital penetration here in the Philippines as 96% of students in NCR own a device for online learning. Currently, Adventure has 850 teachers and 12,000 tutoring sessions rendered. We also partnered with uh, institutions such as the National Teachers College so that we can really bring the best quality learning to Filipino learners. We've also partnered with the biggest brands such as Gcash, Globe, The Asian Parent, Knowledge Channel, Grab, Zalora, so that we can really reach our target market. Um, this is just some of the um, some of the comments about the adventure from different moms that have used the platform. And lastly, 
This is what we've done with our partners as well. We are on the Grab app. We've done events with Tiny Buds and the Asian Parent, and we are streaming on Knowledge Channel as well. Thank you. Hey, what's up? This is Vijay Villafuerte, the CEO of Keep Up Education. We make online classes feel like watching Netflix shows. So imagine if Khan Academy courses were professionally directed and produced with studio-level equipment. We started two years ago, and we are already at 1,300 paid customers, 96,000 social media followers, a total of 11.5 million pesos in revenue, and a 716,000 pesos monthly recurring revenue for the last six months. Year by year, we've helped a growing number of students fulfill their dream of becoming a licensed civil engineer. And the business model is simple. Customers pay us an average of 7,600 pesos for a six-month access to our program. And we are planning to scale this to even more courses in the future. We believe that the education sector in the Philippines is severely underserved as we are currently ranked last among 79 countries in terms of math, science, and reading. And this problem is even worsened by the pandemic. Search any math lecture on YouTube, and most likely it would look like this. And as you can see, it's boring, it's disengaging, and you would rather watch Netflix. Well, I would rather watch Netflix. And this is one of the reasons why enrollment has dropped by more than 25% since the pandemic. So our team came up with a solution. We produced high quality lectures that are affordable and downloadable offline. And the results, 81% of our students passed the civil engineering board exam and we have produced two board top notchers. And our customer feedback, uh, they praised us for our high quality videos they also like that the review is self-paced and that they can repeat the lectures anytime they want. And they gave us an average user rating of 4.7 over 5 stars. This is our market size, our TAM, SAM, and SOM. And as I've said earlier, we are planning to expand to high school and college level students with a market size of 28 million students. The Keep Up team is composed of UP Diliman students and alumni. With, with extensive backgrounds in education and marketing, as you can see in this picture. So in summary, we make online classes that feel like watching movies. We have a total of 11.5 million pesos in revenue and 700,000 monthly recurring revenue. And we are planning to expand to high school level courses. So we are looking for advisors who could help us expand to other courses and 600,000 US dollars in funding. So imagine a future where everyone can learn at their own pace through quality education delivered by the best talents in the country. This is the future that Keep Up Education is envisioning, and we hope that we would, you would help us in our journey. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Jay Perez and with Code Go, and we're here to talk about democratizing education and career placement for the underprivileged Filipino. So I'm going to talk to you first about JM. I'm sure you've heard of this story before. Uh, JM is a senior uh, high school graduate, unable to finish college because the family ran out of money. Uh, this is a You've heard of this story before and this, it's a current state of traditional education, which is the problem. Uh, Four-year courses are actually very expensive for the average Filipino and this, this leaves underprivileged Filipinos unable to access the right education and therefore unable to access the, a skilled labor market. And the big picture of this is uh, in the Philippines, you're talking about 2.9 million unemployed uh, unemployed people, 6.5 million of them are under are underemployed and you've got the 10 million unskilled labor uh, workforce, which is sad. Uh, the paradox here is you're talking also about a, comp a, 
a country which has 3.5 million uh, software jobs which will be available. Uh, and ASEAN itself has 37.5 million jobs by 2025. So there really is a discrepancy here. That it's a big paradox. And so how do we break this barrier? How do we move forward? Well, CodeGo bridges that gap between job seekers and the global demand for tech talent. How do we do this? We do this through number one. We work with a study now pay when hired program. This means that students can actually study with us. They don't have to pay until they are actually hired. We teach them actually with uh, the proper skills to be uh, to join the skilled labor workforce. We teach them tech skills such as UX design, mobile app development, and web development. And this is based on market market driven curricula, which we get from our uh, from our uh, partner companies, who we actually place our students with. So we go the extra uh, extra step of actually providing uh, our students not only with placement but with mentorship, CV preparation, mock interviews, and more. This is how the code go. Uh, the code go ecosystem works. Uh, we actually provide them with accessible education and careers for students. All they need is the willingness to to learn and the pay when hired, and we turn them into skilled, talented resources, which uh, which we then place with our partners who provide us with the recruitment uh, openings and the feedback on providing the proper curriculum. Uh, what are we asking for? Uh, actually, what we're asking for is networking and referrals. We're here for the job market and for our fellow startups, if we need uh, if need web developers, mobile developers, uh, UX uh, UX experts, uh, we're here for you, uh, and we'd love to work with you and uh, help you guys bring bring you forward. Uh, and so that's actually it. Uh, that's us. Let's code go. I'll just show you. JM now is actually a full stack software engineer. He's been pirated a few times already. Laurie was a music teacher and is now a web developer. Uh, Jessica's a pharmacist, also pharmacist and also a full stack web developer. And that's it. Looking forward to meeting all of you and working with you and bringing code go forward. Thanks. Hello everyone, I am Andrew Maniakop, CEO and co-founder of Macari's Smart Learning, an edtech startup in the Philippines which focuses on providing digital solutions and integrated review platform for review centers and for national licensure, civil service, and college entrance examinations. The traditional type of learning alone is ineffective anymore. Efficiency and effectivity of education is tested through national examinations, but based on results and statistics, we know that graduates need supplementary help to go to the next level because of very low passing percentages. Aside from that, we believe that there is no one-size-fits-all system for education because each student have their own learning styles and each course and programs requires different approach to maximize the learning potential of each of their students. There should be an integrated learning management system which is adaptive, personalized, and customizable. Macari's Smart Learning developed a platform and program to further enhance review experience of reviewees before they take the national examinations. We created a fully customizable platform which adapts to our clients' review center's needs. We applied metrics, trackers, and analytics to aid reviewees in working on their strengths and weaknesses. We believe that our program will initiate learner-sensitive environments and technology-empowered platforms conforming to the international quality standards of learning. Here are some of our app features. There is a very huge market opportunity in the educational sector. Within that market, we wanted to focus on the National Licensure Exam Review Centers because of our expertise, experience, knowledge, and current client base. Even if it's only 3% of the market, it's still shown as $58.2 million. We earn through revenue coming from web and mobile app development, subscription from students of our review center clients in a B2B2C setup, and app customizations per request of each client. Development and license fee would cost $4,000, an additional $400 for each customization features. After launching, clients would also pay for additional $20 per student, which would cover database management, video hosting, support, and other technical services. Macari's Smart Learning started in 2021 without any investors. After this date, we have earned a total of revenue of $200,000 with 49% profit margin. Right now, with four review center clients, we were able to onboard more than 5,000 students to use our platform. 
the company has grown and we're able to hire different people from different professions, both full-time and part-time. We're also blessed to be guided by some personalities who have been in the industry for a very long time. Here are some of the clients we have who are changing the course of education in each of their respective industry. And within their first year, they were able to produce top notchers and increase their passing rate above their competitors in the national rating. We are proud to say that we offer total solutions to the review industry and were able to provide a traditional review center standard LMS platforms cannot. We have been in the industry for a total experience of 20 years. So we offer full customization to clients, apply scientific metrics to measure student performance, and 24-7 technical support and provision. Currently, we are raising $500,000 to help us launch our online exam proctoring platform, unified review app for licensure, civil service, and college entrance examinations, create an adaptive integrated video lectures, and for nationwide promotional campaigns. Thank you so much for listening. Let us build the future together. I hope you will have a nice day. Here are our details. Hello everyone, my name is Danica Okta. I'm the founder and CEO of MG. Today I invite you to listen about our vision and to hopefully convince you to join me in making the dream possible. This is a photo of me at 18. I was in college. Growing up, I was told that if I just do well in my academics, I'll be, re I'll be set for the rest of my life after graduation. I held on to that belief. It developed many other beliefs that gave me a really hard time in that period of my life. I would ask so many questions some people in the academy didn't want to answer. What if I get Fs? Will I still have a future? What if I don't get enough credentials in my cards or in my resume? Will it take me more opportunities for the rest of my life? These thoughts influenced my reality. And for a long time, I didn't give myself a chance to fight against it because I didn't know that I could. Nothing out there was working for me. This is a photo of Sydney Lagos at 18. Currently, she's the COO of MG. Sydney was a star student. She was an Ateneo student with a cum laude honor. Yet, as she approached graduation, she didn't feel prepared enough to figure out her life on her own. Eventually, she became MG's first ever client. She was wired to always make things perfect because that's what worked all her life. But she was surprised to learn that the method doesn't always work. And in some cases, perfection makes you fail. She learned how to change her way of thinking. She's proud of herself for finding her own answers, but it's a continuous learning process. It never ends. I look around a little more, and then it hit me. A lot more people can relate to this. Based on our research, we calculate that the TAM equals 1.75 billion. A few days ago, I saw this post. Am I still crazy for thinking that career problems for young Filipinos is an isolated case? And then I saw this Reddit post. Maybe the problem exists after all. So for the last few months, we created Checkpoint, our new MVP. It's a three-month cohort-based program. It offers four major components, one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, as well as our new classes that includes these digital and physical tools, and of course, a career placement support in partnership with partner headhunter firms and recruitment consultants. Our Checkpoint program now is more accessible. Besides the upfront payment scheme, we can now offer installment plans and an income sharing agreement upon hire of the new participant. And we know that there are a lot of competitors out there and we see them as allies. We are working our way to meet the common goal, but this is our value proposition, our career philosophy. We aim to help. And this is me now, a little, a few years later. I'm so proud about what I've done, what I am able to offer to other people. But now I think about the other young people. What if the biggest solution out there is still stuck in the minds of people who can't really say what these ideas are? What an injustice to this world to not know what these ideas are for us to know. It's not too late to help me change our situation. With my team by my side, I trust that we can make a difference. Isn't it interesting to find out what that would look like? Join us. So what are you waiting for?
Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, Startup PH. I am Serge, and I'm the president of PCI Tech Center. And I would like to share to you how PCI empowers the next generation education of the Philippines. So we started 2018. Education is our focus. Innovation is our passion. And we have, we have developed several technologies specifically for education and training because education is the greatest equalizer. Now we have faced, uh, even with these several technologies, we have faced several challenges like learning poverty, uh, lack of reliable internet connectivity, learning loss, and accessibility to education. So we are hitting it uh, from the ground up. So we are innovating schools from early childhood up to higher education institutions. So we, we provide modern content, interactive, interactive content like 360, augmented AR, VR, um, LMS, big data, and our latest one, blockchain technology. And we coupled it with the right infrastructure and capacity building. So when we provide this kind of solution, we cover uh, the, the learner's journey end to end from the enrollment up to their graduation or even employment. So example, in enrollment, we incorporate the enrollment system, LMS, uh, AR, VR, then blockchain technology. And later on, we help the school admin through big data for their decision making. So our, our focus is on the public education sector. We are aiming for the next two years to, to innovate a thousand schools. And one of our, one big example is when we partnered with one of international organizations from Koika, wherein they funded three million schools and now being supported by the LGU. We have helped more than 30,000 learners, 20,000 professionals, and more than 50 institutions, private or public. So once again, I would like to invite everyone to join us in the company. Um, we would like to collaborate as many parties as we can since education is, an, is a responsibility of everyone. So I would like to give a big shout out to the team uh, from the Admin Business Education Technology and Creatives. And hopefully uh, you join us in this movement. Again, I am Serge from PCI Tech Center and happy Startup Page Week. We are Pika Talk, digitally transforming language development. Our startup is inspired by my sister Leia, who has autism and speech apraxia. And like other children with speech impediments, she was enrolled in speech therapy. Speech therapists use different methods to help kids like Leia learn how to communicate, like communication boards, though these can be labor intensive as therapists have to design, print, and cut pictures for each student. It can also be an inefficient tool as it is often left at home, misplaced, lost, or worse, destroyed. And it can also get heavier as the user's language develops, as it means that more pictures are being added, so it becomes difficult to bring around anywhere. Another approach is through the use of speech-generating apps or devices. These devices are capable of storing more words and makes customization easier. But they can also be very expensive, and most of them don't offer the Filipino language. Some existing apps can be cheap or free, but they can be difficult to use as they are no longer updated. Which is why we developed PikaTalk, an assistive mobile application for children with autism, speech delay, and learning disabilities. We address these challenges by making PikaTalk fully digital, customizable, user-friendly, and for Filipinos by adding the Filipino language. We are taking a B2B2C approach as most parents will only trust the recommendations of their child's therapists and teachers. We partner with therapy clinics, centers, and special education schools who will then introduce PikaTalk to the right clients. There are approximately 200 million people with intellectual disabilities worldwide. 32.8 million of them are found in developing countries like the Philippines, and 10% of that is our serviceable, obtainable market. Our competitors range from low-tech AACs to high-tech AACs. Though low-tech AACs can be very cheap as you can make them yourself, there are some that you can buy for up to $200.
Meanwhile, high-tech AACs can also be free, but won't be as robust as expensive ones. And Picatalk is right at the middle, a high-tech AAC that is robust and affordable. We currently have 250 active users on Google Play, and we've introduced Picatalk to more than 20 therapy centers and SPED schools. And we have raised almost 1 million pesos in our pre-seed round. We are raising 8 million pesos so we can have a full-fledged team that covers product development, business operations, marketing, sales, and capital expenses. Assistive technology is vital for the development and participation of children with disabilities. However, this potential remains unfulfilled due to little to no access to assistive technology, which is why I believe that my team can fill this gap with a combination of each of our strengths and expertise. We can become the pioneers of assistive technology in Southeast Asia. So join us as we unlock the potentials of these children. And with Pick a Talk, they can now speak with PICS. Hi, I'm Neil, co-founder and CEO of SoShop. We believe that alumni engagement should start well before students graduate. Former students with close ties to their colleges may return to take up mentorship positions. This can benefit current students as they get expert insight from former students who have had experience in the working world. With a strong network, current students can access valuable soft skill mentorship from alumni, but this is not always the case. According to the fourth graduate tracer survey by PIDS and CHET, one in four fresh graduates think that the outdated skill they learned in college is keeping them from getting a job. This frustration paid, paired with poor engagement programs post-graduation could increase to 52% um, in massive gap in understanding between alumni relations professionals and their alumni. So how might we enable colleges and schools to roll out technology in the right manner for the people it was designed for while not hindering engagement. Introducing Social, an alumni engagement platform with an aim to increase alumni loyalty and engagement through deployment of paid alumni mentors. Schools are given an admin account with a specific number of parent account. Each parent account, depending on the number of children enrolled in the institution, can deploy dependent student accounts. Students take a proprietary assessment, success matrices will be calculated, and skills and habits will be recommended. The alumni mentor specializing on the specific recommended skills will be matched with the student. From here on, alumni engagement professionals can evaluate mentoring effectivity by comparing the results of the assessment pre-program and post-program. Our subscription package starts at only 15,000 pesos a month, inclusive of 900 alumni mentor account, access to alumni survey templates, and tools to measure mentoring activity. The private school alumni engagement market is estimated to be a 2.3 billion pesos industry. 18 months after our launch, social plans to capture more than 6% market share, amounting to 21.6 million pesos from 120 private academic institutions. Social is positioning itself as a tech-enabled alumni engagement-focused mentorship app. As of this date, we have more than 100 registered mentors in our system coming from different academic backgrounds and institutions. We have partnered with six PUCs uh, recording more than 750 student mentoring engagements in both group and one-on-one -on -one formats. Our team has a diverse set of skill sets with more than 80 years of work experience in the sectors of education, law, accounting, HR training, and IT. Aside from the first six academic institution partners, we are still open to pre-registration to complete our target of our first 10 pilot schools. If you have questions, feel free to visit our virtual booth. Thank you for listening. Hi, 
I'm Christian Casino, the CSMO of Wallace School System. We are in education technology and we organize the school data and processes to save time and improve performance. Here are the problems that we are solving. Did you know that schools are using different platforms that causes disorganized data, multiple workloads, and delays on their processes for the administrators and teachers? And with this, it affects their productivity as well as their income. That is why we created an online platform so that the entire stakeholder of the schools don't have to deal with this. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you. The Wella Magic, an integrated all-in-one web and app where you can access all the important information of your child in the school from use and announcement, performance of your child, their daily time attendance, and with Walla Magic, all parents will be updated anytime, anywhere. We also empower the school to accommodate thousands of enrollees in just a minute. For the administrator, viewing and accessing upgrade is 13 times better and bring in the payment options in the palm of your hand and make it available 24 7 and most importantly an effective tools for the faculty for them to focus what is important is to teach this is how we generate our revenue we build our partner schools 20 dollars per student per year every school year and i'm really proud to share that in just five years of operation our growth is 150 percent with 2 million arr and we were able to raise 250 thousand dollar fund and when it comes to our target market, the potential is really big. It is the entire school, private school from K-12 colleges to universities here in the Philippines and Indonesia. With over 32 million students, it will give us a potential revenue of more than 600 50 billion. We are ahead of the game as we have the most complete services in our platform. And in the coming years, we will also launch our new features, skillings, where all the parents and students can book a lesson after school. And with our dream team, our co-founder have years of experience in developing a product. And as the CM, as a CSMO of the team, I have years of experience working with different brand. With this, we are confident to achieve our target. At this moment, we are seeking $1 million to expand our business in Indonesia to further enhance and launch our new feature and to reach our target AER by next year. And with this spending, it will help us scaling geographically. Once again, my name is Christian Casino. I'm from Bola School System. Maraming salamat po. Good morning, Philippine Startup Week attendees. Thank you for joining us at Digest, where we provide legal services for startups. So we help founders solve three problems, incorporation, fundraising, and scaling their business with usual questions like, should I register my startup as a corporation or sole proprietorship? Should I register in the Philippines, Singapore, and or Delaware? Should I offer a safe or convertible note? How the heck do I provide, prepare a vesting schedule or liquidation preference or an employee stock option pool? So these are the problems that all business owners will face as they start and grow their business. So the problem here in the Philippines is startups are power users um, for their founders, investors, and employees as to legal concerns. But traditional legal service providers are not familiar with startups. And usually the legal service providers such as law firms usually charged by the hour and are cost prohibitive with ill-defined scopes of works and timeline estimates. So we solve this by providing upfront pricing, uh, fixed milestones, clear tech enabled tools, and of course, advice by lawyers that are familiar with the startup world. So we ask you already like in our path as a user, are you a company or do you have a company? So if you want a company, we can help you incorporate, and if you already have a company, we can help you grow your business. So through our tech platform, as you can see, um, it's a little far off, but basically we can provide a menu of services with a clear scope of work. So we can give you an estimate immediately so that you can get the legal services you need all online. So you can hire, pay, and collaborate with your lawyer all through the Digest platform. So our market is very big. There's X. It's estimated by the Department of Trade and Industry that there are almost 1 million uh, micro, small, and medium enterprises. And all businesses, even those unregistered, 
usually have some legal questions that they need help with. So our journey was we were ideated in 2019, incorporated, incubated in, in the Asian Institute of Management 2020, became ramen profitable in 2021, profitable 2022, and now fundraising for 2023. We have a tech, legal, and support service team. Um, so we have lawyers, uh, developers, and other service personnel to make sure that we have the best possible service. So we are deeply ingrained in the startup community, and that's one of our legs up with the uh, startups, that they want lawyers who are familiar with the different startup enablers in our startup ecosystem. So we target actually two. We both have foreign business owners as clients who are multinationals looking to expand to the Philippines and as well as domestic real estate startups. So we have grown 10 times in 2022, and these are three core services, business registration, retainer, and contract preparation. So thank you, Philippine Startup Week, for joining us. And we hope that you would consider investing in Digest through our $200,000 safe note. Thank you again. Have a nice day. Hello everyone, I'm Jeffy, co-founder and CEO of Tuala. In the physical world, if we want to do business together, we have to be able to trust each other. And how do we build trust? We need to prove we are whom we say we are. We show our physical IDs like passports or driver's license if you want to apply for a bank account or diploma if you want to apply for a job. Then we seal it with a contract. But then when the transactions move from the physical to the digital world, things became more complicated. We now take a picture of our IDs, take a selfie and upload it to multiple websites. We fill out multiple forms, scan, sign contracts and documents, and send them via email. Imagine how much of your sensitive personal data is out there. And in the age of Photoshop, deepfakes, and several high-profile data breaches, a lot of people have fallen victims to identity theft. So how do we solve this? Twala provides a suite of tools to issue, sign, and verify cryptographically verifiable IDs, credentials, and documents to give individuals back the control of their data and for a more secure and faster workflows for businesses in Web2 and Web3 ecosystem. More so, Twala helps reduce onboarding costs, carbon footprint, and risk of identity, document, and financial fraud. Our solutions are all powered by Twala Network a specialized blockchain network that uses zero-knowledge proof, a privacy-preserving technology with built-in protocols for digital identity and document security. It is also interoperable with more than 40 major blockchain networks. The global regulatory, legal, and digital identity market is roughly $170 billion. We estimated ASEAN to be $5 to $10 billion. The Philippines is a billion-dollar market, and 5% of which could be $50 million in annual recurring revenue. For attractions, more than 25,000 documents and credentials have been issued within Tuala. We have also signed partnership with the Philippines' largest telco, PLDT, and we're now finalizing an agreement for international expansion with one of the largest systems integrator in the Philippines that has significant global footprint. We have received around $100,000 grant from the Department of Science and Technology, and Tuala is now part of the government's technical working group that will lay out the blockchain roadmap of the Philippines. And because of that, we are now in talks with many government agencies who express their interest in deploying our solutions within their organizations. For our business model, we charge $15 per user per month for SMEs and volume pricing of $2,000 to $200,000 for mid to enterprise market. Tuala is the only company that provides both digital ID and digital signature solutions for both Web 2 and Web 3. Tuala team has a combined 30 years of IT and business development experience, and we are backed by very capable advisors in both tech and in business. We are still in a pre-seed stage, and we're raising $600,000, and we've already raised around $320,000 from government grants and angel investors. Tuala is evolving the way we build trust online. Join us in our journey of building a digital and frictionless future for everybody. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Elisie Chon, FH Mom COO. 
Five years ago, Filipino home-based mom started as a Facebook group and right now, we have grown the community to 430,000 members globally. Most women face challenges in finding jobs because of limited opportunities and resources, such as budget for upskilling, internet connection, and computer. Sadly, many women, especially moms, suffer emotionally because of social pressure and expectations. These factors affect their confidence, motivation, and abilities. The big question is, how can we help them discover their potential, gain confidence, and get a stable career that will help them achieve work-life balance? Our solution, a one-stop shop platform tailored for Pinay moms with the following digital products and services. E-commerce with cash payment and installment for equipment. E-learning with curated freelancing and entrepreneurship courses. Job matching with internship and talent sourcing. Lastly, advertising packages for local and international brands. Now, let's move on to our finances. FH Moms was able to grow in numbers and revenue exponentially. We also received local and international grants that we used for our e-learning services, research, scholarships, internships, equipment support, and community growth. This graph shows our e-learning services as a five-year revenue projection of 10% increase per year. And generally... FH Moms has a projected average net profit margin of 27%. FH Moms became a household name in the freelancing industry and we're happy to share that we now have a total of 540,000 social media followers, 30,000 graduates, and 7,000 five-star reviews online. We're also trusted and recommended by different media personalities and organizations. We also received awards and recognitions and you can find numerous media features about us. Aside from launching more courses, we plan to develop our digital media products and services, increase our traction, and explore new digital marketing strategies. We're still developing the feature in our platform, and our five-year goal is to reach more Filipinos abroad. Our all-female team, who all started as freelancers, are dedicated to solving the struggles that our members are facing because we've been there. We're also affiliated with local and international programs and organizations, and we collaborate with our fellow startups and communities. We are thrilled and excited just to be part of this program. We would love to onboard you with our mission of changing lives one mom at a time. Hello and welcome to Humble. It is a privilege to be part of the top 100 for the Philippines. Humble is modernizing asset liquidation. We sustainably liquidate returns and excess inventory for businesses, helping them earn high revenue. E-commerce, retail and logistics companies lose so much money over returns, aging or damaged items, and the amount of waste ending up in the landfill as a result is a real problem. Our solution allows our clients to recover high revenue from their items while cleaning up their space and saving items from the landfill, all with modern and superb service. Here's how it works. First, a business has returns, aging or damaged items that they need to sell. We sell the top quality items to consumers on Thrift, our own e-com store, then everything else is sent to recyclers and buyers in our B2B network. Finally, we pay the client their cut of the revenue. And this is us. If you're a business, you'll head over to the B2B platform where you can manage your liquidation. If you're an individual, you can head over to our e-com store, Thrift, for high quality items with some quite amazing deals. We've had a fun journey so far. We were lucky enough to be one of the winners for the Ideaspace Accelerator competition last year. And we have secured exciting partnerships with organizations that inspire us. We're grateful that we learned so much from the other players in the industry. We're trying to be a little bit different in a few ways. We focus on extracting as much revenue from the items as possible, which also means our client recovers more revenue. Of course, sustainability is at our core. Everything is brought back into circularity because we work with recyclers and upcyclers. As for thrift, we're surrounded by inspiring e-com giants. We believe we have a strong vertical of circular living. Plus, we're quite difficult to beat on price anywhere online. Here are the SDGs that we directly impact. 
And finally, our vision is a community where any item can be brought back into circularity by anyone. So we are not raising right now, but this is how you can work with us. First, if you're a business with returns or excess inventory, head over to humblesustainability.com where you can learn more, upload your inventory or book a call. Second, if you love to shop and you want to do it sustainably, visit Thrift at thriftbyhumble.com. Use the code thrifty25, that's thrifty25, for 25% off on top of the already ridiculous deals we have on there. Finally, we are hiring a lot of people at the moment. And if you're interested to know a little bit more about our culture, head over to humblesustainability.com and get in touch with our people and culture team. We would love to hear from you. And that's us. Thank you so much, guys. It's such an honor to be part of this inspiring ecosystem in the Philippines. Take care. Hi, I'm Neil Clyde Koh. I'm the founder of The Grain People. We are the good food people. TGT addresses the problem for on accessibility, for food safety, and security. In the increasing population of urban settlers living in a fast-paced lifestyle where healthy and fresh food options is hard to access. Our solution? is to provide access of healthy and fresh food direct from the source while enab enabling our farmers and processors using TGT hyperlocal model. TGT business model aggregates from farm produce direct to the farmers based from TGT data, process, pack, convert into value-added product, deliver direct to consumers, partner stores, B2B clients through TGT hyperlocal delivery. Estimated around 7.2 billion peso for ready meals and meal kits with growth rate at 6%, forecast from 2021 to 2026. This is our current competitors. TGT provides auto access, thus provide the best quality at reasonable price, thus provide prosperity to all. Our traction, we founded during 2020, during the pandemic. We we operate purely online using our social media websites to collect orders. Right now, on January 17, 2021, we opened our first store. On the second, on the second store, we opened on October 2021. On November 18, we opened our full bone store. Right now, we distributed our smoothies to deluxe stores, co-working spaces, coffee shops, gyms, and hospitals. The folks behind our startups. Jan Fick, our branding experts, Hilary Napolis, our technologist, Bene Kwe, our finance, Leanne Permanes, head in research. We are searching for people to be part of the green revolution. For those with existing food and beverage business, you can be our B2B partner. For those who wanting to start the food business, be our franchisee. Invest in TGT for 5 million peso for 10% stake in company. Join now the Green Revolution. You may contact at the contact details here. Thank you very much. Hi, I am Benjo and I'm the founder of Trash Cash. We are a mission-driven tech startup that aims to revolutionize waste management through digitalization and utilization of data. It's no secret that the Philippines is so beautiful country, but issues in plastic waste management are ruining its natural beauty. Letting plastic end up in landfill could directly affect the environment. In the Philippines and in many other places as well, the, p the problems are lack of awareness, economic factors, and lack of data regarding how much plastic waste consumed in particular area. And this is why Trash Cash was created. Trash Cash provides a logistic solution that's collect, 
track and monitor plastic waste data, providing a digitized approach to educating and transforming how people manage their waste to ultimately prevent them from reaching our landfills and oceans. With Trash Cash, we reward and educate communities to properly segregate plastic waste at home and track their progress at the same time. All the data gathered from the mobile app is synced and will be displayed on the community partners' Trashlytic dashboard. With our process, plastic waste is segregated according to its plastic type, collected and given new life instead of ending up in our landfill and ocean. Through our monthly collection drive from every Trash Cash community partner, we were able to divert more than a ton of plastic waste from landfill and oceans. At the same time, we have started developing a cloud-connected and solid-powered smart bin made out of plastic waste, which will automatically segregate through its AI sensor, which connects to the user's Trash Cash wallet. Trash Cash primarily generates revenue from the following. First, the subscription fees for our waste recovery program, including our app and monitoring dashboard. Second, plastic offset, where we buy the plastic from our community partner and sell it to our partner upcycling company, which will be used to make eco lumber, planter, trash bin, and more. And lastly, we take 15% commission fee from every sale of our eco products by our eco merchant. With the involvement of the local community, business sector, and local government, we saw the opportunity to increase plastic waste diversion rate and improve waste management through digitizing. And to accelerate trash cash reach and digitizing waste management, we are raising 150,000 on a safe note. As we expand our accessibility to our users, we will use the funding to develop new features of our app and smart bin kiosk, and to onboard more community partners and eco-merchants as well. Our end goal is not just to help achieve environmental development, but also influence the community to turn proper segregation and disposal of plastic waste into a habit. If you invest in us, it will help us further develop our product and will be able to replicate the solution to digitize plastic waste consumption to other places as well. Let's make this happen and join us in revolutionizing plastic waste recovery. Thank you.